OnePlus 8 Pro is an upcoming smartphone by OnePlus. The phone is rumored to come with the 6.50-inch touchscreen display. OnePlus 8 Pro is expected to be powered by an octa-core Qualcomm Snapdragon 865 processor and come with 8GB of RAM. The OnePlus 8 Pro is rumored to run Android 10 and is expected to be powered by a 4500mAh non-removable battery. The OnePlus 8 Pro supports wireless charging as well as proprietary fast charging. As far as the cameras are concerned, the OnePlus 8 Pro is rumored to pack a rear camera. It is expected to sport a camera on the front for selfies. Its official time the hottest and one of the most aware in front of the years are coming the OnePlus 8, OnePlus 8 Pro and OnePlus 8 Lite. OnePlus has officially confirmed that all models will have 5G. This is a huge move indeed similar to what Samsung did with their flagship phones but obviously the price with the OnePlus devices are going to be cheaper especially with the 5 grams OnePlus 8 Lite. It could be one of the cheapest 5 grams phones on the market as for the higher OnePlus 8 and the 8 Pro model they will definitely be more expensive than the last year's offering as being confirmed by the CEO himself but thank the lord he almost so showed that the device will not gonna reach the price of a $1000 they're still gonna cost less than that so my guess is that the 8 Pro model could cost $800 or $850 whereas the non Pro model could start at $750 and $500 $550 price for the OnePlus 8 Lite model as for their release these devices are scheduled to come to the market in the month of April but because of current situation that is going on these devices might actually get delayed so we'll see what's gonna happen regarding that in case you don't know about the specification here's everything you need to know the most amazing thing about the Oniplus series is that 90's refresh rate is the default level and with the higher one plus eight in the pro model you can get the exclusive 120 Hertz refresh rate according to some alleged Live leaks the software will allow you to switch between 120 Hz and 90 Hz and 60 Hz mode in order to get more battery when it comes to real life I've actually not seen much difference between 90 Hz panel versus 120 Hz the difference is much more noticeable from 60 to 120 Hz so 90 is still a very sweet spot for good battery life and at the same time having that sweet refresh rate goodness now the light model is coming at full HD plus resolution and with a 90 Hz refresh rate it's gonna have 4000 mAh battery. According to the image leaked by, all leaks have showed a dual camera setup on the back so it could be a wide and ultra winding lens in addition to a time of flight sensor. As for the OnePlus 8 Plus 8 Pro model these devices are similar they have a bigger display than the 8 Lite model coming at 6.65 inches of course and old displays with up to 120 hertz refreshers supported the overall look of these phones will be similar to the OnePlus 7th series from last year but the major difference will be the elimination of the pop-up camera the reason why on a plus to that is because of the ip 68 waterproof 2 yes this time around we could finally see ip 68 certification for water and dust resistant the pro model is expected to go to next level by offering the highest wireless charging capability which is 30 watts and up to 50 watts of cable charging which is insane the recent oppo find x 2 Pro has 65 watts for fast charging so as you guys only know these are sister companies so it's not gonna be surprising if Oniplus does bring 50 watts of cable charging with the Pro model and of course 30 watts of wireless charging is very impressive indeed the 120 Hz display is official as well it could be exclusive to the Pro model although according to multiple sources 120 years display could also come to be one plus eight model we have a 4500 MSL on the Pro model which is the highest battery size that Oniplus has ever offered with its flagship phone so you're definitely getting that big juice and it 
it can also gain support up to 50 you are so fast charging now there's a special MEMC chip with these displays they are there to upscale the frame rate of the videos that you're gonna be watching so this could actually be a game changer software hardware technique that can make a real difference the content refresh rate being upscale is something that's gonna make their whole experience even better now as for the camera specs these are community based on rumors we could see a higher resolution 64 megabytes sensor with the pro model in addition to ultra wide angle lens zoom and dot sensor the one plus eight is rocking similar stuff with the 48 maybe some main lens and missing a dot sensor whereas the light model could only rock two lenses with what and ultra wide angle option all in all these devices are looking extremely amazing once again these devices could be the phone of the year devices the light model is looking really impressive as well thanks for watching guys and see you on my next video